Hey everybody, once again, this is Gordon Overkill and uh, um, let's remember uh, we are in a really tough situation at the moment or uh, rather to say um, Godizzle is in quite a tough situation because he is cursed and he's standing on the staircase to the uh, to the big room at the moment and in the big room there is a dark elven magic caster who summons spiders which is uh, very very dangerous in this big room especially because you can summon endless amounts of spiders and there is so much space where those other spiders can go so you can easily be surrounded by by dozens of spiders we are not yet poison resistant which is another problem let's hope that we will soon get this poison resistance and also uh, to make it even worse we are cursed which gives us bad luck in battle so this is gonna be a tough fight and uh, so I say the only aim for this episode is to kill this uh, spider spawning guy and, and, and make a path uh, through the big room. Uh, before we start fighting, uh, I got another good tip from Stingray, which is uh, we should maybe uh, reduce the weight we are carrying a little. Because we don't need much of our stuff for, uh, for this spider killing uh, spider killing actions so let's see what else we can drop uh, don't need the second helmet the shield we could drop more or less everything that's all not so important well for emergency maybe um, back up weapons we'll keep them you never know when you get uh, disarmed but not this not that all other ammunition but the rocks can be put aside uh, um, uh, the carols arrows 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 we've got so many arrows I'd really love to use them uh. so that's all of it. Don't need this and that instrument. Um, mm -hmm. Also, don't need the books. We can't use them at the moment anyway. So let's see how much, how much uh, weight that reduces. It brings us to burden status, which is already a lot better. So now I feel well prepared. Let's see where the first enemies are waiting. Go downstairs. There's already a ghost bed and a spider right next to us. So what we're going to do now is uh, go directly up to the next room, to the, uh, the other level, and fight those enemies over here. Um, hmm. I do not want to fight the spider and the ghost bat both at once because as I... Oh, there's another one. That's a problem. Maybe we can kill the spider quick. Who's coming from behind? And somebody who shoots arrows. And we cannot kill it quick, so maybe go out of the way of this uh, archer. Defensive mode against the ghost bat and transform it into a piece of... Uh, I don't know what uh, ghost bat becomes when it dies. So, the first spider is dead. This guy wants to flee. But he will come back, so we will let him flee. Shoot at him. He shoots at us. And he hits. We do not hit. <laughs> Missed. Um, come on, yeah. Some more rocks this arrow 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 so the first enemies are dead but uh, that was just the beginning here we've got an aunt and I really hope that this aunt is from this level from uh, from d5 and that there is not another aunt uh, hive on in the big room which would, would make the whole thing even more complicated than it already is. Uh, we will see. Mm. Another spider. We really try to get as few enemies as possible following us. 
and this is the corpse of a, a tarantula and we are directly going to eat it because this will give us poison resistance here you see it your throat feels very rough and your stomach burns that means now we are poison resistant we are poisoned for a couple of rounds but this will soon be over because of the resistance we just got feel the poison coloring through our veins here now the poison is gone we just lost four hit points from the spider poison which is quite good i think okay this guy is no problem i think can fight him at once as long as there's no, okay the next is coming uh, Aquatic Fazit and a gremlin who followed us. Gremlins can become very dangerous and, uh, under special circumstances, but uh, usually they are weak. So now here we've got this orc, but he's neutral. It's okay. No, he's not neutral anymore, no. Let's go some steps into this direction. What do we have here? This place a beast and another spider. We're going to lure them away. This placer beast dies with one hit. Very good. Here's the spider. Slave master. This is a gargoyle. Gargoyle, doesn't he have a paralyzing attack? Some stone attack? Uh, I think so, so maybe we should try to fight him defensively because we are cursed, we don't want to get hit by such a special attack. Uh, who's that? This is the dark elven wizard, the guy who summons the spiders. Let's see if we can quickly engage him in melee. So here he is, if we can kill him we would have... Oh, he uh, he fires a spell at us and does some damage. But we also hit him. He's already severely damaged. When this guy is dead, we will have solved a serious problem. So, we made it. That's very good. Because he could have... Uh, he could have uh, summoned a lot more spiders. And now, all we have to do is to... Uh, kill the remaining spiders on this level. So I think now it's already okay if we pick up our stuff because uh, now that he's dead it's possible that we can directly get through to the uh, to the downstairs. We have to pe pick everything up manually because uh, the shortcut that exists which is uh, uh, control P for easy uh, for easy pickup. Uh, it's also the shortcut to stop my recording. I already tested this in uh, early episodes. So now let's see if we will be able to pass through this room. Here's a troll and a gnoll. There should not be problems. Oh, okay. Single rock. What's this? A worm. Worms in this level are also damn dangerous because they can uh, multiply like crazy. Who's that? Another dark elf? This time it's a dark elven warrior. Mm, we do not want those guys to surround us either. But, uh, hmm. Maybe it's okay if we retreat to the upper wall so not too many of them can attack us at once. I hope that we will be able to reach the downstairs. And then we can again do the stair luring tactics. Oh, it's in the very last spot of the room that we will... Oh, damn! Do not get surrounded. Uh, we still had very good health, so nothing to fear in this respect. But where are those? Here they are. 
finally we found them in the literally in the the, the last uh, spot of the level that we hadn't uh, explored so we get down here we've got around us a caveman a lion and a bandit going to kill them but the lion does not attack us if he's neutral we will not kill him definitely not because I uh, already uh, told you that killing cats might become a problem if you kill too many of them at least so we have passed the big room quicker than I thought which is actually ver uh, very cool but uh, we did not play for very long time so I guess we might as well uh, explore one or more additional levels in this episode uh, I also don't know what this special message uh, does There are some kinds of special rooms like this one to uh, create a special message when you uh, when you uh, enter them. From some rooms I know what they do, from others not. Oh, and we found a climbing set which is quite nice. We might definitely, uh, we will need one. We will very likely get another one, but it's never bad to have a climbing set. So we get hungry again, eat some of the heavy stuff. No, we didn't get hungry, we just got a strang strained exclamation mark. So, we hear, oh, but we hear a buzzing sound. So this is again a B level. And once again, I like to avoid, sorry cat, you're for fighting the bees, because in the later game, we will definitely have to, uh, face oh this is the beehive this is the beehive but here is a higher metal scimitar which is even better than the ones we have I think it's adamantium okay bees oh why did I go through this room I do not want to fight these bees so I just close the door because the problem is if you kill too many enemies of one and the same kind they will slowly but surely get star uh, get uh, uh, stronger and stronger, and uh, especially those hive enemies, uh, while we climb out of this hole, can get really strong. And uh, it happened in uh, past games that I played, where I uh, destroyed many beehives on the way. That the last beehive was uh, really murder bees who were very very hard to beat. What do we have here? Eyes of destruction. They can destroy our inventory. So, I do not really want to fight them either. Especially as we already found the, the staircase, so we just close this door. Get down to the next level. No need to uh, fight with these eyes of destruction and in the end maybe lose uh, valuable, uh, valuable equipment. Next level, uh, the air is filled, in this level is filled with a strange smell. That means that there is a certain artifact to be found on this level. Found a cheap cloak, but someone throws a battle axe at us. A hill orc sergeant. Hill orcs are a lot stronger than usual orcs, and uh, you can see that he does a fucking lot of damage. And I did not expect him to be so strong come on critically wounded and die uh, dead whoa this guy did more than 30 points of damage that really hurt Getting hungry again. Have we got anything uh, that waits a lot? I think 
the bread is the heaviest. Maybe eat something else so we lose some weight. Earthling bread and the other earthling bread. Now we are satiated and we are back to strain without exclamation mark. Here we've got a yellow ooze. I do not exactly remember what they do, but I prefer to kill them in ranged combat because those oozes sometimes have really nasty effects when you fight them in melee. additional arrows so as you know what at one point we will we will be really happy about oh another hill orc and I uh, just engaged him in melee let's okay this one was a lot uh, less strong than the last one weaker <laughs> weaker is the word for less strong <laughs> uh. at least demon actually not too strong rattling warrior but we've got some problems to hit our enemies and here's a gargoyle we do not want to risk being hit by some kind of evil turn you to stone attack um, take the spears with us if there's a good spear it might be worth changing the weapon but I don't think there might be a spear which is better than our adamantium scimitar which we are carrying we're just going to wait uh, until we can oh here is a spear trap and this strange item that we just picked up is the artifact on this level I almost forgot that it was on this level that we got this uh, this uh, this message so this is a gelatinos cube and we are not going to melee this guy because we did this in a past episode and I was uh, told afterwards that this is uh, a very risky behavior. <laughs> One should rather try to, uh, to kill him with a ranged weapon even in infight because he might paralyze us. And uh, he might uh, paralyze us even easier since, uh, since we, uh, we are cursed. Uh, okay. So now we go down to D9 and it shall not be long until we reach this place here. This place is the next town and this will be our uh, home base for the couple of episodes to come. Let's see uh, what the text says about it. You enter a huge cavern which seems to be a uh, hoon from the, from the stone. Several globes of bright light floating in the air illuminate the cave very efficiently. In the distance, beautiful stone buildings are scattered through the cavern. The worksmanship is obviously of dwarven origin. You seem to have entered an ancient dwarven city. This is a uh, this is a stair leading. There is a stair leading up. Okay, up what's here? You hear holy chants in the distance, so there is it. Um, this is definitely uh, our home base for the next episodes to come. We'll get a couple of new quests here and uh, a couple of other cool things. Uh, and this place is called Dwarf Town. So now that we reach Dwarf Town, I think this is a perfect, uh, uh, a perfect timing to end the episode. And in the next episode, I will show you what, what, what we can all find in Dwarf Town and what's the next things we're going to do. Thanks for watching again, guys, and uh, hope to see you in the next episode. Bye, everybody.